a Big Spark Studios original. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast. Oh, that we're just recording on the longest day of life. I have so much shit to do today, and this podcast is just a big chunk of it. Um, (laughs) If you guys are new here, yeah, this is a great idea. Complain about the podcast you're on, and then tell people to subscribe to it. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, this is like the best ad for this podcast, the, the most authentic one, maybe not the best. Anyways, um, I'll stop rambling and just promote the goddamn podcast. You can subscribe to it wherever you listen to podcasts. Unhinged with Chris Clemens. That's the name of it. I've already said it like four times. And if you want to watch the video episodes, guess what? YouTube.com slash Chris, baby. Every Thursday, like around 1 p.m. Pacific time. Um, Is there any other thing else we do? Oh, rate and review, guys. Come on. Let's pump up the rates. Get that. Whatever. Um, What the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah, this is going to be, I feel like, a very feisty podcast episode today. So we're going to get, like, the real important shit out of the way. Obviously, with um, the shootings going on all over the world, or the country, especially in Buffalo, um, I wanted to make today's shout-out the GoFundMe for the victims of literally a terrorist white supremacist attack. So, yeah, um, it's just, it's, like, crazy after so many shootings that we as like Americans go through like it's weird that like I'm still like speechless to it like it's so common and it isn't surprising but then it's like I can't imagine hating someone or a group of people so much to live stream it too blows my mind so I want to leave the GoFundMe down below I mean, ugh, this is just such an awful, disgusting, ugh. Anyways, so I want to have as any positivity come out of it as possible. I mean, it's so hard to say that, um, but if you've got extra money, please donate to these families. I can't imagine what they're going through. Rest in peace to the victims, and um, yeah. I don't even know how to segue from that. I was like just going to say, like, wow, I'm really sweating. And then I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. Um, what is new in, like, oh, I was just in the Bay Area. You guys are from the Bay Area. Can I say your hometown on the air? Yeah, well, it's not our hometown. But Fresno? We, oh, from the hometown is Fresno, yeah. Oh, can I say that? Yes, you're, you're allowed to say that. <laughs> well, it's already said. I was just going to tell Justin <laughs> to bleep it, if so. But, no, but. I passed through and I, and I was like. I see why she left. <laughs> rude. I, rude? Yeah. Fresno gets a bad rap. Does it? Yeah. You talk, yeah, from I said you. Fre- <laughs> <laughs> Drag his ass. We'll settle this one on Chris's court later on. But it, but it, That'll but, be the one that kicks it off. But it birthed a wonderful woman. It birthed a very wonderful woman. I thought you were going to talk about... And her name is... What's her sister's name? Brina. <laughs> Brina. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, my best friend, one of my best friends graduated law school. And I told this story um, in like one of my vlogs, but um, I am not, a, I mean like, yeah, I'm a smart person in very specific things, but I'm not like a smart person that like can sit myself down and read a textbook. <laughs> I can't even read a fucking normal, like a children's book. So my friend graduated fucking Berkeley Law School. And she, we went, the way we met was at NYU. We are both in the art school. She was majoring in acting. And she, up until like literal 2018, 19, she was like, the acting thing isn't working out. I'm getting older. I want to have a secure life, a family, and be able to support my family, etc. Acting isn't panning out. So... I'm going to be a lawyer. And I remember the exact spot she told me this. We were going down the 405 into the valley after she had picked me up from the airport. And nothing had ever made more sense in my life. I was like, oh, my God, you love a pencil skirt. (laughs) You love to read. And, bitch, you love an argument. And, I mean, I it's crazy because she would, like, tell me stories from law school. Oh, and so she was, like, working as a receptionist at, like, a firm of 
like money people or I mean I truly don't there, I can't <laughs> emphasize how little I know about things and she was teaching herself everything to take the LSAT passed it and got into Berkeley Law School <laughs> and now just graduated so I was like I cannot miss this opportunity because I mean that is just like I can't even fucking comprehend that. And she's like, well, I can't comprehend what you do. I was like, babe, it's really, you just got to learn Final Cut Pro. Um, So, yeah, I went up to the Bay Area and just, like, had fun. It was her graduation party. So I was so drunk. Like, I don't know how. I, I, like, truly, I'm, like, trying to, like, even 72 plus hours from Impact, I'm still wondering, like, how did I get that drunk? So I got there and the hotel, ugh, I stay at this hotel in Berkeley that is like so, ugh, like I like it just cause like the bathroom is nice and like the rooms are nice and like I like the facility, but the, everybody who stays there is just fucking white. Like it's, it really was like one, the hotel looks like the Shining Hotel like from the outside and I guess from the inside, I don't really know. I need to brush up on that movie, but, um, it's, it just like, Oh, I guess I learned that it was also like low key, a country club. So that like fully painted the picture, but I just would like walk into the lobby and it would have this like very fancy, like not colonial, but like feels might as well have been colonial interior design, um, like colonial modern. (laughs) And I would just like look around the lobby and I'd be like, what cult am I in? I hate it. But the but like that also feeds into why I love it because it's so many snooty old white people and then there's me in like fucking unwashed sweatpants that reek of weed and I'm walking through with like my fat ass 67 pound pit bull. Like I love disrupt. Like I have like a ba- a really nice bag that these women would be like drooling over and I'm just like, "Can you move?" Like I just love being that bitch there. Like like fighting from inside. <laughs> I'm an Avenger. Um, so I got to the hotel and they had champagne, like a glass of champagne. I was like, bitch, yes. Because like the drive was just so long. And then did I get like anxiety about something? Prob- I mean, yeah, probably. Um, so I was just, oh, no, no, no. I tried carrying all of my shit in one go with Booger, which is like comical. Like I would pay for that security footage. And so I was like, yeah, please. So I literally chug it. And then they give me a bottle and they're like, you could use it. And then first of all, I fucking find out when I check out that they charged me for it. Uh-huh. Oh, I was like, <laughs> okay, this $10 max bottle of champagne is not $62 on my hotel Damn. bill. Damn, fuck. Huh? I did complain about the Wi-Fi because it literally didn't work. And the guy was like, did you call down? And I go, no, I didn't want to deal with that. What? Oh. Just have the Wi-Fi working. I don't know. You sure? You're a fucking... Urban resort. The only you call them because I would like call to like, hi, can I like make sure that like my dog is okay? Like, blah, blah, blah. You answer the phone. Welcome to the Bay Area's only urban resort. <laughs> that does sound culty. <laughs> like, what? First of all, for an urban resort, resort, there was one restaurant. One restaurant. And I'm only angry because I paid a $50 resort fee per day. Huh. Was this in San Francisco or Berkeley? Berkeley. Oh, okay. So I pay a $50 resort fee. There's no places for my dog to fucking piss. That isn't like just a fucking incline. There, I was like, do you have a piss spot for my dog? And they're like, there's like mulched, mulched areas around the park. Yeah, why don't you take a shit in a mulch and then tell me how it goes? The fuck? Oh my God, speaking of taking a shit. <laughs> I took a shit at a Starbucks on the way up and they ran out of toilet paper. Like mm. it, I got one good fucking wipe out of that, like out of toilet paper. And then there was not even like a reserve up top in that like steel tank thing. So I'm like, okay, shit, literally. And it wasn't like, like in your house when you run out of toilet paper, you can like waddle down the hall, like doing the thing with your pants around your ankles. Once again, I was at a fucking Starbucks. So like, I almost left the bathroom doing that of like with my shirt around my dick and just waddling. And then I was like, no, because that's like quite literally indecent exposure. So I opted not to. And um, I decided to use the only other resource I had at my disposal, which were the wax paper toilet cover seats, toilet seat covers. Um, 
And I did about nine of them. Oh. Hmm. Uh, so I don't know if my butthole was ever clean, but it was bleeding. Uh, <laughs> so that was lit. Uh, let's see what else happened. Oh, so my friend Eileen, who graduated, her brother was also obviously in town. And I've met him before. And so we went out to like a sports bar on Friday night to watch a basketball game. And they ended up having a bowling Alley plank. Have you ever been there? Oh, plank. Oh my God, plank. Wait, yeah. Wait, oait. oh my God, plank. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, I wait, have know, you? I didn't know it still existed. Yeah. You've that's been there? Cool. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool that we have that in common. What are you doing later? It's not like Jack. What? Is it Jack London's court? No, that's okay. Oh, yes. Oh, it was? I, oh, I yeah. remember seeing Jack London. Okay, yeah, Jack London Square. But that's like, where plank is. near like the map. Like, I, so I don't know if it's in it or oh. next to it, but like, I saw it's it. It's around there. Yeah, on the Apple map. Like, this is how I have information in my... I'm like, it's on the Apple map, it's like around Plank. <laughs> um, so yeah, then we ended up bowling, and that's how we got really fucked up. I forgot that I smoked a joint at the bar. I, that's the end of that sentiment. I really have no other information. I had to borrow this guy's lighter like nine different times and then like <laughs> convince him that I wasn't going to steal it. I'm like, no, 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 trust me. I understand what it's like to lose lighter. I promise you I'll give it back. I just need to give myself a fix for my addiction. <laughs> um, but then, anyways, we got back to the hotel, wasted at, like, 8 p.m. It was, I, I, like, had no idea it was so early. I thought it was, like, 3 in the morning. So we get back to the hotel, and I'm like, you guys should just sleep here. I'll order, like, a rollaway bed, and you guys can, like, sleep on it. So I order a rollaway bed, it comes, and then we were like, wait, we need another because her brother is with us. And so I was like, okay, let me... And then, so Eileen was like, I'll call. I was like, okay, go for it. She freezes up because she's wasted on the phone. And she's like, can I, uh, yeah. And so I grabbed, I'm like, give me the phone. Um, could I get another roll away bed sent up? I'm so sorry about that. Um, and then she was like, we already sent you one. And I was like, I know both of my kids are insisting on, no, guys, seriously, stop <laughs> arguing. Okay. I'm trying to get another bed. Can we please, I'm so sorry. Can you hold on? And I'm like doing this whole charade in front of this woman who just sounds like she wants to be put down. <laughs> She's like, you know what? I'm just going to send you another bed. You can figure out the layout of the room. And I said, perfect. And it all fit yeah. perfectly. But that was a fun little moment. And yeah, it was just like, you know, when you're with that person, that friend that you can just be like absolutely stupid with, like everything is just like, you know how I talk in the Australian accent. Eileen is the friend who I like developed that with. Like we would watch Jemay and then like only talk in our Australian accent. Ooh. Oh, no. In our Australian accents. Better. And so on the last day, the day that I left, Sunday, I we were just like, we do this literally all the time. Like at breakfast, like we just literally be like, what the fuck is going on? Like I, I really can't even emphasize how mentally ill we both are, but she's like clearly made like a career beyond be just being mentally ill. So we get out of the car at breakfast and this lady is walking by and we're doing this like Australian bit, just not even, it's not a bit though. That's like the fucked up part. It's like real. So we're getting out of the car and this lady's like, where are you guys from? What are those accents? Oh my God. I mean, you think you have it bad until you have to look a stranger in the face and tell them that you were faking an accent when there was no reason to even be talking in one. Oh my God. I was like, oh, it's, I, we, it's just a thing we do. It's not that big of a, and. Wait, why duh. wouldn't you keep the bit going? You just, Oh my like, God, broke? because, <laughs> yes, because here's this like sincere, nice, like 60 year old woman just walking down the street with her bag and just was so nice. She would never know. I know, I froze, okay? <laughs> I was like freaking out and just like, she seemed so nice and to lie to her about Aww. like being possibly hotter than I, Am like I just don't want to do that. I mean, oh, she you was have a so. I, I know, isn't it so nice? That's nice. It was a comforting. I was like, wow, okay. I do care about people, not all people, but some nice old people in the, the no, Bay Area. <laughs> this one, this one lady who caught my good side. God bless her. <laughs> people say she wasn't real. People say that they're still waiting to hear from her. Um, and then, oh, I have like a mini rant to throw in here. Fucking 18 wheelers. I think I've done this rant on this podcast. Why are they still fucking driving like it's Formula One? Mm. I had an 18 wheeler straight up cut me off. Like not even like cut me, like 
almost died, cut me off. And then I honk, and then the guy, I pass him, and he goes, huh? Hey, buddy, stop driving your truck on meth, okay? Try that. Wait, it's truck driver, so you like, uh -huh. yeah, okay. That. Yeah. Did you know that? No. They, they, they do long hours. Yeah, they do long hours. But those, so but those eggs in the back of that car got to get to the market. Oh, the one that like overturned or something? Oh, were there eggs that... <laughs> yeah, yes, I saw this. What? Either like yesterday or today, like a whole giant 18 wheeler overturned and it was carrying like 30,000 eggs or something. Wow. I was like, dope. <laughs> dope. Why does the chicken cross the road? To get fucking turned over in a fucking 18 wheeler. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I feel like that's the fun. That's the fun update of. 18 wheelers are sick though, because you can go and they go. Hur. Yeah, I guess I like. <laughs> That used to be fun when I like had a will to live. Now I'm like 28 and I'm like, oh, will this be the one that kills me? We'll see. Oh, I forgot to say, guys, before we head on to the next segment, you guys can join the Patreon as well. We are going to be recording this month's Patreon episode this week. And um, also, you guys, by if you join the Unhinged podcast here, you guys can also enter the contests slash challenges. I don't know. I have to use specific wording around this because otherwise it's like, according to Patreon, it's like gambling. <laughs> so I like, I have to say like challenge and bonus prize and like bonus prize challenge activate. Like, I mean, what the, anyways, you can join that. I currently have like a makeup mirror ring light, a Balenciaga pair of sunglasses or a pair of Balenciaga sunglasses, like a beanie, this cute little weed box and then loopy bars, which, as you guys know, are like my, the, I mean, the only reason I don't throw up in the morning. Anyways, I don't know why I share what I share on here. <laughs> I do what I can in due time, y'all. Um. <gasps> Breaking news. This just in. Oh, no, this isn't news. Never mind. How fun was that? I made that yesterday. <laughs> I know it sounds very homemade. Um, <laughs> it does, though. It's like the best part is I made that guess in which app location. Not Garage you, because you know. No. Hmm. Final Cut. Oh. I literally did all in Final Cut. And I was like, Sam, can you like convert it? <laughs> For someone whose like whole job and shit is like digital. I really know how to do so yeah, little. I'm so confused. I mean, we don't have to delve into it. I guess I know but... how to do it. I'm just lazy. There, well, you got it out of me. Okay, okay. You mean that wasn't made by like a professional sound designer? But no. what was Shut the... up, okay? But... I also did our intro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What did you like send the video of though? Was the... It was just with the black. Was that actually anything? Or was it just... Oh, it was like my iPhone. Oh, I recorded phone? all the audio on my iPhone because oh. I was like also too lazy to get like the actual microphone. And then I knew that the like these microphones were sitting in here wow. and I was like, I don't even want to learn how to use those. <laughs> hey, listen, that sounded pretty fucking official. I was like, hold up, a newscast alert. We better pause. Anyways, I wanted a few episodes ago, I read this like thing about Stan Twitters having like coming back with like their own mental or like personal life updates. I wanted to really incorporate just like news segments, but only like random niche weird news just, just stuff that you didn't need to know and it's not breaking info at all um i am someone who gets really sad from the news i guess because like i'm an empath um so yeah i thought this would be fun and this one comes from ripley's believe it or not which i thought was timely because everyone is pissed at them and kim for wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress. It is called, instead of making cakes look like objects, people used to bake objects inside cakes. How random. Like, could not be more random. Like, Ripley's, can you believe it or not? Because I can. Not. Um, while the most baking, while the most recent baking phenomenon involves decorating cakes to appear indistinguishable from everyday objects, currently manifesting in the new Netflix show is a cake, which, by the way, have you guys seen as a cake? Have I talked about that on here? We I, talked about, about it on one yeah, episode. I seen it. Uh, but I, but no. You need to see it. It is. I know that Brittany Broski and Rebecca Black are fucking judges on it, okay? People are like, your friends are on it and you're hating the show. It's not their fucking show. They were guest judges, okay? I still love them and respect them. Also, 
is a cake if you needed a judge. I would do it. Like, are you kidding me? I would absolutely do it. So, anyways, yeah, I don't need to go on an is it cake uh, tangent. One trend that keeps popping up throughout history is the addition of inedible trinkets to the batter. And if you think people were wise enough to leave the choking hazards to the adults, think again. Oh, wait, did they talk about it? I didn't read this just because I read like the first thing and saw is it cake and I was like, perfect. I can shit on this. Um, Mardi, Mardi Gras? Oh, King's Cake. King's Cake! Yes! yes! I so, okay, Becoming a King for Day is a section in this article, so we'll, we'll not spoil it, guys. <laughs> Today's consumer protection laws ensure that the toys kids get their hands on are safe, non-toxic, and contain warnings about stuff like choking risks. But children's fortune-telling cake sets of the mid-20th century threw such cautions to the wind. Wow, guys, still don't know how to read. It's really painful. These cooking kits came with tiny metal charms you baked right into your most, into your moist and fluffy dessert. <laughs> Let's just skim. Let's just skim. Let's just be Kim Kardashian and skim. Since ancient times, people have baked trinkets and charms into cakes. For example, every January 6th, the French salad. Oh, I thought that was going to be Mardi Gras. Is Mardi Gras French? Hmm. Like New Orleans. Spanish? Portuguese. Was it New Orleans? Yeah, No. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Is it French? Mm. This is... It oh, coup de gras. Like gras. French. Mardi Gras. It feels... That's French. I mean, call me fucking Rosetta Stone. <laughs> call me Rosie O'Donnell and Rosetta Stone. Oh. Um, anyways, the French celebrate Epiphany by chowing down on scrumptious Gillette de Roy, or King's Cake, a glazed yes, puff pastry exterior gives way to delicious sweet almond paste which will leave you begging for oh. more oh my god i am begging for more ah, ah, this isn't dipsy but i'm begging for more <laughs> we didn't get any it weren't we talking about the king's cake oh we were because we uh, mardi gras already happened and <gasps> i didn't get it we should have shown our tits on here i know guys we, we fucked we up. still have time is it still mardi gras no, no i guess we'll have to wait till next year yeah Fuck. oh but that tension <laughs> We have so much time to build it. Anyways, but be careful, or you might end up chipping a tooth on the porcelain or plastic trinket called Feve. Or Feve. Feve. F E with a thing over it? V E. F E with a thing over it. V E. Feve. 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 We'll call it that. Literally bean baked inside. That's what it means. Oh, like fava beans? Fava. You're so fucking into that, bitch. I don't know what you're into, but like beans, apparently. You might find out. The person lucky enough. So yeah, basically, I I don't care about this article anymore, it turns out. <laughs> um, on the basis that I literally cannot read it. But I saw this and I was like, wait, that is so true. That is something I totally forgot. When I was in fifth grade, we did a Mardi Gras party. And sorry, I'm in my head where I'm like, was it fifth or third? You can't lie. Pretty sure it was fifth. If not, it was third. <laughs> but um, we did a Mardi Gras. We were like learning about Mardi Gras. And so we had to come in dressed in like purple, green, and yellow. I think those are the Mardi Gras colors. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah they are, you idiot. And I remember my mom had this, this pair of like red leather like boots <laughs> with like a heel. And I wanted to wear them so bad. I remember being like, I wish red was a Mardi Gras color so I could wear these. Thank God red was not a Mardi Gras color. So I did not wear those. But we learned about it, and we had a king cake, and I remember there was a plastic little baby in it, and if you got it, it was like you got like a fucking Burger King crown, essentially, like in the classroom. It was so fucking stupid, and I wanted it so badly. I wanted that fucking little baby more than James Charles ever wanted one. I mean, so badly I wanted that little plastic baby. I didn't get it, um, and I'm feel like someone I didn't like ended up getting it, which like made the burn that much worse, especially in like fifth grade. That's like the only worry in your life. That and like telling your mom that you got a 10 on a spelling test. But we overcame that one real quick. Real, real, real quick. Anyway, so that's, does anybody have any fun things baked into cakes or just king cake? I've never had anything metal. That's but, the like, only one I can think of. I think we should like make those more, like let's put some pennies. No, maybe not. Ew. <laughs> heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Got it. Well, they said metal objects, so I'm like, okay, wait. What? How fun would that be, though? You're like, whoa, I'm getting cake. And then you're like, holy shit. It's a 20. It's a 20. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> like, I think we should start bringing this back. 
obviously big enough ones where you like you have to see it so you don't swallow it but like <gasps> imagine oh shit it's my old baby teeth that's really what you thought of? I mean, I guess I can't really judge. I've thought of like really weird <laughs> shit. So, I mean, in old movies, they always have people baking things to get people out of prison into cakes and things like that. Oh, oh the cakes and and loaves of bread, right? Like files to get out of the prison and things like that. What mm -hmm. is this right? real? Yeah. So you you like like a like a, a file like a you know you yeah know. To, to, to get out. I, I don't think it would work now. They give nail files so you can have a bomb manicure, <laughs> <laughs> so you can become the toe fetish person of the prison. But Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday. I know. Yeah. That I did know. I just didn't know the language of Mardi Gras. Yeah. But then I used the French Quarter. I used context clues or whatever. Yeah. You figured it out. I don't know how, but we did. Um, so yeah, that, I just, I'll do better next time, guys. Next time we do this, I'll have an actual article and maybe I'll read it beforehand so I know what the, I know what's coming. Before we carry on, I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, which is Milk Bar. Ah! You guys already know how excited I am about this. If for some reason you guys don't know of Milk Bar, it was started by James Beard award-winning celebrity chef Christina Tosi in 2008, where she opened the first one and has been wowing the world ever since. And she's just been like putting her own spin on very iconic flavors. Now, when I used to live in New York, almost all of my birthday cakes were from Milk Bar. And a lot of my late night strolls ended with Milk Bar. On top of that, Milk Bar is also the perfect gift for anyone and everyone in your life. Like I said, for birthdays, graduations, barbecue. Oh my God, a barbecue with milk. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Milk Bar's like, why is Chris barking in this? <laughs> a few of Milk Bar's best sellers are their signature birthday cake with unfrosted sides. Oh my God, this list is like getting me. Woo! The salt sweet compost cookie, which is so beyond. Oh my God. The Milk Bar pie made from toasted oat crust with a gooey butter filling. <gasps> and for a limited time, Milk Bar is offering their delicious new strawberry shortcake and cake truffles. These truffles, guys, the cake truffles, Oh my God, I haven't had the strawberry truffle ones yet, but if they are anything, like literally anything else this place sells, oh, you're gonna, ah! I literally, I just only wanna make crazy noises when I think about my part. My leg is like tense. I'm just so like, like I am, oh, Milk Bar just does it to me. And right now, Milk Bar is hooking it up just for our listeners. They are offering $10 off on any order over $50 when you go to milkbarstore.com slash unhinged. Again, that is $10 off any purchase of $50 or more when you go to milkbarstore.com slash unhinged. What was that, Chris? Milkbarstore.com slash unhinged. Wow! The wow part isn't in the URL, but that was just, oh, I'm so excited about this. Ah! Thank you so much, Milk Bar, for supporting me. Like, I have supported you. Oh, what a mutual, what a fun mutual love. Rawr. Okay, this got weird. Back to the episode. But um, I wanted to bring back taste testing for this episode because you could say I'm passionate about this topic, <laughs> but um, I am, and it's the water. <laughs> It's so funny because I'm like, literally my piss has never been like more brown in my life because I'm just so not drinking water. But I'm just like very specific with water, which makes me feel like a... <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to edit that. I just, it does. It makes me feel awful. But like, there are some waters I just straight up would rather be thirsty than drink. So I went to the grocery store and a McDonald's because I needed a Dasani. Um, I wasn't going to buy a flat of 24 Dasanis for this, for this, sorry. So I went to McDonald's to get literally a Dasani. How did a small fry end up in my stomach? Um, and then, <laughs> um, yeah, so I have approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, approximately 12 waters. And we're just going to go through them. Some of them are alkaline. Some of them are opposite of that. What does alkaline even mean? Hmm. Like literally, like what? Like I get pH balance, but like still, what? Is, 
I love that this is a room full of adults, educated adults. I think it's acidic or alkaline, right? So yeah, I mean, I know that it's more basic, but like, what does that mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck is all of this jargon on this shit? Sam, anyway. gun to your head, what is alkaline? <laughs> <laughs> what is alkaline? Uh, what is it, though? Can we Google it? No, that's what I thought. I thought it was like a battery. So I'm like, oh, no wonder they're charged with electrolytes. Like, I mean, there's electricity in it. I was thinking some sort of vitamin or supplement or something. I don't know. But, like, I think like, it's like a, like a state, like... I'm in an alkaline oh. state, but like I don't know. That's which like, one's alkaline? Um, oh, I honestly don't know. I just think that's a word I oh, saw. Oh yeah, ionized alkaline. Nope. Water. Ionized alkaline. Supercharged. <laughs> 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 I mean, I got the definition. Oh my god, hit us, hit us, hit us, hit us. In chemistry, an alkaline. Oh fuck this definition. It fuck sucks. it. Talk into the microphone. Literally, I fuck. I am talking to the microphone. Okay, in chemistry, do you want me to read it? I guess. Like, I did ask for it. Okay, in chemistry, an alkali is uh, a basic ionic salt of an alkali metal or an alkaline earth metal. An alkali can also be defined as a I, I'm so sorry. I literally already stopped paying attention. I can't... <laughs> there is something where when people, like, are trying to teach me something, I just don't listen. Like, my body is, like, allergic to it or something. Like, I... I totally forgot you were giving me a fucking definite. I was like, oh, I need to line up the water bottle. Like, I'm. That's concerning. Yeah, god. Oh, my God. It's okay. Someone can fucking comment what alkaline is yeah. in, like, idiot terms for me. I'm not going to say you guys because you really are put through so much on the daily. Which one should we start with? You oh, guys pick. Core. Core. <gasps> okay. This is the first one we have up is core hydration. And it is perfectly balanced pH purified water, electrolytes and minerals for taste, approximately a 7.4 pH. So, and the bottle's made from 100% recycled plastic. Fun. Was this just open? You opened it. I. <laughs> Thank you. No, but like, I didn't have to, like, did I, I don't think I pulled this thing. Like, did someone oh. already drink this? Mm. Whatever, we'll find out. Anyways, this is the taste test. Um, I know it's like, it's water. It has no taste. That's fucking false. Waters have taste. Waters have feelings. They have origin stories. They have a lot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one, I'd probably give it like a seven. A 7.4, just like it's pH balance. <laughs> um, no, it's like, it not not that it feels a little thick, but it feels like thicker than I feel like I remember water being. Wow. Oh my God. For <laughs> once, for once, these taste tests aren't going to fuck me up. If anything, I'm just going to be so hydrated today. Am I kind of like big brained or whatever? Okay, I know I said that water has taste. This one really doesn't. I was like, what does it taste like? And I'm like, Chris, you're drinking fucking water. <laughs> so it tastes like thick water. No, but that second one, I don't... This is going to be harder than I thought. I don't know how to... It's like Describe fr- water? It's like fragrances. It's oh. like, I don't know how to... No, no, no. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know how to describe water. It's like fragrances. I don't know how to... I'm like, it smells good. Uh, <laughs> like, I just don't know how to... I mean, at least maybe you can compare them to, like, the, the, the previous ones. Yeah. You know? Okay, so we've got core. It doesn't really have much of a taste. I It might redact, like, the thickness bullet point, like, 50%. Like, it definitely feels... You can feel the electrolytes and minerals. <laughs> Is it refreshing? Yeah, it was very refreshing, honestly. Like, I have gone and reached for core sometimes. I do like it. And this bottle is a, oh, it's not even a liter. Never mind. When you opened the bottle, it seemed like it like blew you back a little bit. Oh, it blew me away. (laughs) Core hydration. You got me soaking wet. Okay. Wow. I don't, I literally don't know how that happens. What are you, what were you motioning? I was saying coffee, but saying it silently so I didn't interrupt. Got it. Okay. I just want to make sure that we weren't having an HR complication. She gave me a wet willy. Ew. No, I didn't. I, yeah. I mean, like, there's no aspect of oh, Sam that has me being like, oh, Sam did give Justin a wet willy. 
All right, next up we have Smart Water by Glaciao. And um, this is vapor distilled water and electrolytes for taste, purely balanced pH. I'm pretty sure it's the same fucking thing. Um, the ing- <laughs> I love when water has an ingredients list. Oh, vapor distilled favorite. water, calcium chloride and magnesium chloride and potassium bicarbonate. Electrolyte sources. Okay. Purity you can taste. Hydration you can feel. Let's see. I'll be the judge of that, smart water. Ooh, could you hear my fart in the mic? Well, you now know it happened, and I just did more while I was explaining that. Honestly, that's why I was doing it, so you didn't hear those. Okay, so this one tastes, I think, better than core. Mm. I think that's my one of my favorites. Smart water? Smart water was, and then I watched... I See, I wish... Oh, I wish I was fucking smart enough to have bought pH strips... Because I used to love watching those videos on, like, Facebook. God, so embarrassing. But, like, of, like, doctors pH testing, like, all the different waters and being like, see, this is, that's why I, like, was on such an Essentia binge for such a long time. Because I was like, this is the water. This is the only one I can drink. So I'm like, okay. Okay. The core one. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. You know when you eat melted snow? No, you guys are from California. Yeah, no, I know what you. Oh, that's exactly what core tastes like, but oh. like, like a, a slight hint of that kind of. Mm. Smart water truly has no taste. Like I don't know, <laughs> purity I can taste, or they should say purity you can't taste. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's the more like, positive? Why would I want to taste purity? Doesn't purity taste like nothing? It really makes you think. Yeah, I think I like Smart Water more than Core. So Core's already knocked. We have our new Empress. Oh, we should have gotten like a stand so we could have put the ring. No, don't look for one. It's like not that deep. Um, what should we do next? You guys pick. Dasani. Dasani. Oh, fuck. This is one of the ones that I hate. Um, and enhance with minerals for a pure, fresh taste. And by minerals, they mean salt. There is salt in Dasani. It's also tap water. And salt makes you more... Darcy! Oh, I get so fucking mad. This is the ingredients list for fucking Dasani water. Purified water, magnesium sulfate, potassium chloride, salt, minerals added for taste. Oh, I guess that's it. Salt? Salt! Weird. Fuck you, Coca-Cola company, unless you really want to work with me. <laughs> Run me the check. Oh, God, I, hate, I literally hate Dasani. It tastes better than I remember it tasting. Are they all cold? No, they're not all cold. I know. I thought about that. I can't. Ralph's was a fucking nightmare, bro. Uh, well, it's, I feel like they're probably easier to taste or like discern taste if they're not as cold. I don't Thanks. Know. I know. <sighs> all right. Now that the Dasani is room temperature. <laughs> Okay, Dasani is literally thick. And not in, like, the good way. Ew, and it has a weird aftertaste. And my mouth feels like it has a film on it. Ew. Like, ew. I know you guys are getting, like, the most insane mouth noises. But, like, ugh. I fucking hate Dasani. Um, <laughs> down below will be the petition to end Dasani. Thank you. Um, let's do Origin 100% Natural Spring Water, refreshingly still American Spring Water. I had never heard of this, um, but it was at my grocery store. Natural electrolytes. <laughs> oh, electrolytes. Um, Say oh, quick, what's an electrolyte? <laughs> it, it makes you... you it, it replenishes, it, it hydrates you. Period. Let's go with that. Final answer. Burr. <laughs> this is Family Feud. <gasps> How do we get on Family Feud, the unhinged family verse... Another podcast, Brittany Broski and Sarah Shower, we're challenging you, or Drew. Although, no, Brittany and Drew both feel like way smarter than me, so maybe not. Anyways, this is Origin 100% Recycled Bottle. Or, no, I don't know why I just read that. <laughs> Origin 100% Natural Spring Water. That one felt thick. 
They're all thick. I know. I'm like, is water just thicker than I remember? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say thick? Like, yeah, like vis- yeah, viscous or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the face you just gave, heavy. <laughs> she gave the most like, holy shit! Did I just say heavy out loud face? <laughs> I don't know. Just keep thinking of the blood is thicker than water every time. You yes, say like it. thicker. <laughs> like blood is thicker. It's like a thicker liquid. Should we taste blood? Let's do a blood te- taste test. Everybody, <laughs> let's do a blood test. Prick your finger. <laughs> let's do a blood. We should do an allergy test. On- oh wait, no. I was thinking it's one of those things that you prick your finger and then you just like, and then it tells you, but it, you have I to send them in. Isn't it like. Oh, they, in your arm? Or don't they like prick you like 20 I'm times? so sorry that this podcast, I mean, just <laughs> needs a full ass Adderall prescription. Origin is good. I would drink this. It probably wouldn't be my first go-to. It doesn't really have a taste. Um, yeah, was this the stupidest thing I could have done was taste testing fucking water? I'm starting to think it was. I spent like fucking forty dollars on water. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Um, Origin will. Here, how about this? We have like the Keep Club and the No Keep Club. Mm. Like these are all solid options. None of these are pH tested by me, so I don't know about any of that shit. Why does my microphone keep sagging? Come on, girl. There we go. All right. Next up, we have Life Water, and this one I've never understood because I always thought it was Smart Water. I just always thought life water and smart water are kind of the same thing. It was like smart water is like more approachable sister. Um, anyways, this is purified water, purified by reverse osmosis. Sam, gun to your head. Oh, what is res- what is reverse <laughs> osmosis? Do you guys remember the movie Osmosis <laughs> Jones? Ah! That would be like my go-to sick day movie. That or the episode of Magic School Bus where they go inside of Ralphie. Mm. Those two were like whenever I was sick, mom. Hit the classics. Swear to God. Anyways. Um, purified water, electrolytes for taste. Is So is that just... When I was looking, there was caffeinated water. Caffeinated water. It was clear. The fuck is that? Is caffeine just something you can like... Bloop, 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 bloop to shit? I don't know why I keep looking at you. Like you just... No, but like you just are like the most... I think sane out of all of us. I don't know. I mean, they have, there's caffeine in pills. You would think you could put caffeine in. You're so right. See, this is why we look to you. I mean, you you wonder. You're like, why do you guys look to me? I'm not a... <laughs> you just gave me a whole thing that I fully am believing and will probably tell people is the case. <laughs> so if you hear that from me, I wouldn't necessarily believe. <gasps> I don't know who that was. You didn't get any of the caffeine ones? Fuck no. I'm doing... I had to stay okay, true right, right. to the task in hand um this one had a weird beginning taste and like also is giving me like that film on my tongue it's making my tongue feel weird i don't love gotta say i did take this one out of a pack of six so i didn't have to buy the pack of six. oh nope i bought the pack of six i forgot <laughs> i literally i was like oh yep it's literally on the floor great <laughs> Wow, I think life water might really... Ew, it's like drying out my mouth. What the fuck is this That's reverse awesome. osmosis doing? Um, all right, this next one we have is called The Well. And it's still water, natural spring water. And it comes in a glass bottle, which I low-key love because I reuse them as my water bottles. Oh, how cute. Okay, cool. Um, This... Oh, my God. Distributed by Ararat Group. 14140 Ventura Boulevard, Sherman Oaks. Wow, local water. That is right down the street. God bless. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm from Tennessee. Um, I'm trying to see if there's an ingredients list, which is lit because it's water and shouldn't. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's try it. That one gave a beautiful sound as I drank it, by the way. I hope you could hear that. This is gorgeous. I don't know if it's because it's out of a glass bottle and it automatically just feels richer and, like, better, but... I think that's still mineral water, too. Like, it's a mineral water. No, I think it's actual natural spring water. Is that the same as mineral water? No. 
<laughs> you're our in-house scientist, and like we don't have to tell people your credentials or lack of. They're different. <laughs> <laughs> they sell spring water and mineral water. So this is this must be the natural spring water according to the label. Um, this is good as fuck, honestly. And she's got like that hourglass body. Um, <laughs> is it been twenty minutes of me drinking water and then giving my review? Ten, two, many minutes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I, my guide. If you're not watching, I just literally dropped the well bottle of glass on my fucking kneecap. Holy fuck balls. <sighs> Holy shit, I feel like my kneecap just got dislocated. No. Oh my god, that was torture. Um, next up, <laughs> next up we have Evian made by the French Alps. God, that's so pretentious. I've never read a fucking bottle of Evian. Natural electrolyte, 7.2 pounds, carbon neutral. Oh, that's cool. I guess carbon neutral work. Um, ingredients, natural spring water, love. Here we go. This is Evian. <laughs> <laughs> that was the craziest noise and I didn't even drink it. I just spit it right back in. Oh, so did I just fuck up this? Huh. I just backwashed into it because I was like literally laughing from the sound that I make. Whatever, Chris. It's not that fucking deep. What are we doing? I like it. It's not giving, though. Like, it feels... I don't like the mouthfeel. That's what I should be saying, is I don't like the mouthfeel. Like... I love how hydrated I'm getting. Like, this is crazy. Instead of, like, White Claws and... Bro, the White Claw day, I will never forget. That was one of the worst feelings I've ever... Like, on par with salsa and beer. Like, yeah. <laughs> bro, you can't, the, the way I felt after salsa and beer has no indication of whether I liked it or not. Yeah. Bro, like, first of all, I had gluten. So my stomach was already growing three times the size. Okay. Second of all, I think I had my actual body weight in bean dip. <laughs> it has nothing to do with salsa and beer. Yeah. Yeah. Loosen up. Wonderful Mexican restaurant, Infinity Seltzers. <laughs> same. No, I, they're not, but I'm saying that feeling it's the was same like, it was crazy feeling. It was a crazy, like, your body is like, what the fuck it's just happened? It's out of body. <laughs> yes, it's out of body because it's ripped out of your body. Like, it's, it's like, let me out. <laughs> Anyways, that day, I mean, anyway. Have you ever read Evian backwards? Naiva. <laughs> no, it's Naiva. Naive. Oh, is it? Naven. No. I don't think I know how to read backwards. <laughs> Wait, are you making a, are you making a joke? No, you know, it's naive. backwards. It's naive. Navy. Naive. Naive. Chris, he already said it's naive. I mean, what is wrong with me? Navy. Navy. <laughs> I'm in the Rihanna Navy. I thought that, like, it wasn't true, so then it's a joke. Like, No, that's naive. like the Erewhon thing where people oh. are like, oh, it says nowhere, but it's not actually. But no, Evian is naive. Backwards. Yeah, I'm going to say, honestly... And this is the one I often get when I'm, like, in the airport because it's, like, either literally Dasani or this. I don't love this one that much compared to the other the other contestants we've seen here today. I think Evian might get Ooh. dropped. Sorry, French Alps. Do <laughs> beta. Um, that was my attempt at, like, a French-American whatever. Um, this is Eternal Naturally Alkaline Spring Water. What's alkaline? <laughs> Ba batteries <laughs> class together now what's alkaline <laughs> batteries <laughs> Not, i already forgot <laughs> no i i mean i never Do even knew <laughs> i never even knew <laughs> um there's nothing smart about adding electrolytes to filtered tap water like most water brands they just came for smart water's <laughs> neck <laughs> eternal said not today Eternal water is different because it has naturally occurring electrolytes that come right from the our pure and pristine springs. Pure and pristine are in caps, like capital P U R E and oh, capital P. Like a proper noun. Yeah, like a proper noun. 
As our water filters through layers of ancient rock, it absorbs essential minerals. It arrived in this bottle as nature intended. It arrived in this bottle as nature intended. Is this eternal, a religious thing? It, oh, eternal. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, eternal is the water brand. Okay. They are, supports brain function, cell hydration, healthier skin, increased metabolism. <laughs> is water allowed oh. to be doing this? So sorry. That really was out of pocket. I just was stunned that they are this big of a bitch on the label. There's nothing smart in all in a proper noun about adding electrolytes to fill. Nice. And then they have the audacity to show a diagram of what it supports. It's water. It supports your whole fucking life, bitch. Fuck. That is like the most plain water I've ever tasted. I'm sorry. For that whole SNL monologue, that's what I got. Is it pure? Is it holy? Is it cake? Oh my god, my <laughs> metabolism is it cake? <laughs> Oh my god, that was funny. Oh god. Oh my gosh. The source was at the Shasta Trinity Alps in California. I don't like the smell of the bottle. The bottle. I know that that's weird, but like smell the bottle. Come over. The Someone. bottle's trying kind of hard. The bottle's trying so hard. Sam, go smell the bottle. It's like those girls are like, I've never got any work done. And then they're like totally fake. It's like, that's yeah. this bottle. That's the BBL bottle. Yeah, this is the BBL bottle. But it's like, I got no work done. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Meanwhile, the well is like, <laughs> I did. And look how sexy and sleek I look. Anyways, sorry. Um, my mouth just doesn't feel like refreshed after this. And all of this is alleged, by the way. I mean, this isn't defamation or something. I think you can have an opinion about stuff. So true. <laughs> Are we, though? Can we? <laughs> I don't feel like we can anymore. I'm like, mm. I'll just bleep the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That would be a crazy. It's 50 minutes of punk rock. Just gross mouth sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that isn't bleeped <laughs> is the mouth sounds. Um, I'm going to, you know what? As much shit as they talked, I might keep them on the table. They're, they're going to be half on the table, half off, and then if they fall off, then that's literally where God intended for them to be. This is Ralph's Purified Drinking Water. It um, is in that bottle, that every cheap water bottle thing. It's like super flimsy. It's like a Deer Park, Arrowhead, Crystal Farms. Geyser. Geyser. Poland Springs. Poland Springs, exactly. It's like that bottle. We all know it. We all put up with it. It's ribbed for your pleasure. It is ribbed for my pleasure. <laughs> is this the best one? Honestly? All right. I'm knocking this bitch off the table because this one's better than that one for sure. Let's go, Ralphs. Come on, Cincinnati, Ohio. Come on, Kroger. Yeah, she's a winner. I like her. Honestly, <clears throat> I've almost all of the waters that come in these bottles hit. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Like Deer Park. Do you guys know what Deer Park is? Or is that an East Coast thing? I never understand that about, like, are these all the same companies? And then, like, we just, like, call them Deer Park and Arrowhead. Like Carl's Jr. and Hardee's or whatever? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> anyways, I don't need to. This is Aquafina. Uh, pure water, perfect taste. This is another one that I don't like. But this isn't a can. Weird. I'm not going to lie. I got this at the Super Bowl and was trying to find an Aquafina in the grocery store and couldn't find one. So I took this out of my fridge because it's still in there. I don't know. I'm like a weird like taker. Like Klepto? No, but it was in the suite. Like we were allowed to take it. But like I took a bunch to bring home so I could like stock my fridge. I don't know. Okay. I'm still like breaking a lot of weird habits I had like growing up. Uh, anyways, here's Aquafina out of a can. Ooh, that's an immediate no. Not out of a can, mama. I mean, like, I get it. It's better than a plastic bottle. But it, like, kind of tastes like a can. Yeah. It's more refreshing than Dasani. And, like, it doesn't have an awful mouth taste or, like, mouth feel. But the taste is like, oh, this 
isn't water, even though it says purified water is the only ingredient. But then at the same time, it's like kind of like a good taste. You know, when it's like you got a slight hint of like metal or something. You're like, mm. Like, I don't know how to describe this. Like licking a battery. Licking alkaline. <laughs> I'm, li- I'm licking alkaline right in the eye. Would that mean you have like a deficiency if you like like tasting metal? Like an iron thing or something? No, it just means oh. that I was dropped on my head in Lowe's when I was like two. Oh. That's okay. We've told the story. Um, I thought next you were th- just left. You were dropped. I left? I thought you were like, um, you got lost in Lowe's. No, I fell out of the cart head oh. first onto the oh. cement floors. It's okay. It explains okay. a lot. No. Um, this is Essentia overachieving H2O. You know what? At least they're upfront about it. They're just like, listen, we are overachieving. Um, and it is water. 9.5 pH or higher. <laughs> they're like, all right, in this batch, let's kick it up to 11. Does 11 even exist? Or is it out of 10? I don't, I'm sorry. Is that out of 10? Just, what is it? It's out of 10. Thank you so much for that info. Okay, so there's, this is either in a 9.5 to 10 <laughs> I love this. I literally do. Oh my god! Ingredients: purified water by reverse osmosis, sodium bicarbonate, dipotassium phosphate, magnesium sulfate, and calcium chloride. And what's that? Love. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know all this shit was in it. I'm not gonna lie. How the fuck did I used to drink all this? It's not that good. It has a weird taste. This is the only one that me and You're right. No, fuck right this now. water. <laughs> no, this used to be like all I, it has. It's the water that Kanye drinks. Okay. <laughs> Makes me like it even less. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like I don't hate it, but after tasting waters where it's just like refreshing mm-hmm. and like there is no taste. Like. What does it taste like to you? Compared now. That me. Oh, this is the only one we could even comment on. Either. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Love this. Oh, wait. Here's life water. Do you want to try it after no. I throw it on the floor? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, it tastes. I guess it's minerals, is what I'm tasting. Mm. It tastes like this is such a hard thing to describe. There are these, like, vitamin C goo packets. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well, we know what those yes! are. Yes. <laughs> but I don't the know. Taste the taste of those, it's either. like this weird plasticky I don't know how to describe it but it's like those gel packets that has this very slight hint of like something mm. I don't hate it but I don't love it we have a new person on the edge <clears throat> and her name is Essentia I'm sorry for all of the burping I just have so much air intake with all of this water and drinking last up we have is this a brand alkaline water plus pH is literally all it says. I don't... Water is essential to life. We encourage everyone to live water wellness with perfect hydrations, ultra purified... Wait, perfect hydration? Hold the fuck up. Isn't that what... Oh, no, they're just core hydration. Was that not one we already had? Perfect hydration? Was that not... Oh, that was eternal... Maybe. I don't know what's going on. Let's just get through this, Chris. Um, I'm somehow drunk. <laughs> what? I'm somehow drunk. <laughs> like, literally, that's exactly how I feel. I'm like, I'm fucked up off this water. Um, purified water, electrolytes. Oh, potassium carbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and magnesium sulfate are electrolytes, apparently. So when you see those, those are the electrolytes. Okay, here we go. This is a tall-ass bottle. It's, oh, my God. It's, like, filled with... <laughs> <laughs> This kind of tastes like a, this has like the slightest, this is me being so picky and petty, but like this has like, you know when you leave a water bottle in your car overnight and then you oh, get yeah. in the, and then you get in the car at like 2 p.m. and it tastes a little different? Yeah. It's, the, you're not supposed to do that. No, I know. I, it's like the plastic seeping into the water for sure. Oh. Maybe it's just like, maybe it's just electrolytes that I'm tasting in all of these because it kind of has the same essential vibe. Yeah, they, they was but like- I don't like the mouthfeel of this. My mouth feels dry right now. 
Like that that's what I don't get. After you drink water, it's like why does some of them my mouth feels so much drier? Anyways, a lot to think about. Um, the girls still on the table um are smart water, origin, the well, R- Ralph's purified drinking water, core hydration. Um, on the edge are alkaline water PA. Oh, perfect hydration. Oh, that's the brand name. Wow, that is um. not clear. That looks like a selling point. The two that I'm iffy about are Perfect Hydration and Essentia. Also, I remember back in my Essentia days, I was like, I could I be an, an Essentia ambassador? And then they said no. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, and then the ones that we canned, Aquafina, Dasani, Life Water, Eternal, and Evian. And that's the water taste test. Thanks for coming. Do we feel more stupid after this? Because I, I mean, no, I don't because there's no more stupid to feel. So, order, order in the court, order. Me a pizza? Anybody? Can someone do that? It is time for Chris's court. Um, I'm loving these little <laughs> jingles we have. They're probably gonna last two weeks, and then I'm gonna get sick of them. As long as it's not that fucking owl. I don't know God, what. God, you hate the owl. I, I mean, yeah. Once you have to hear, oh, oh, I'm here with some secret. That was a live thing by the way so that wasn't even the fucking audio recording um don't do not throw (laughs) no don't seriously don't you're gonna knock over my matcha and i'm gonna be so pissed stop doing it put the fucking owl down or i'm gonna put you down whatever i'm too tired (laughs) it's on his fucking shoulder Anyways, this is where you guys can call into 310-844-6459 and leave us with some disputes or arguments that you need settled in your life. The dumber, the better. How many do we have today? Um, a couple. Are there any ones that you're in, you're excited for? Yeah, this one I want to know your opinion on. Okay. Um, hi, Chris. Um, hi. My name is Kendra, and on, Kendra. I was just listening to an episode of Chris's Court, and... It just made me get so caught up in this one debate that my roommate and I have been having all year. We're literally moving out of the dorm right now, and this just re-sparked this debate inside of me. Can soft things be called stale? I had never heard of anything soft be called stale before my roommate, but she calls everything that has gone past its prime stale. And I just don't get that. So... Please let me know your opinion on this, Chris. It has been a whole year of debate between my roommate and I, and we're rooming we're together out next year. So to figure out. if I could have your way in before next year, that but, would be awesome. Thank babe, you. I'll give it have to you this day. week. Yeah, thank you so much, Kendra. What did she say? <laughs> there is like every voicemail, there is like two words, and they're like the most fucking important ones. When something is blank, it is, she calls it stale. I know. Okay, I, I didn't understand this, and I was like, I need to play it for them also. But it, she's saying, or can soft things be stale? Soft? Like, like, I think she's annoyed at the way that the roommate calls certain foods stale she calls everything stale. oh like soft like a banana or like an apple yeah or like oh bread? bread bread gets harder though yeah it, that's true like it's so harder. like that's why i'm like so soft doesn't thing. equal stale soft. those are opposite that's of- the question that's the debate well now i'm fucked all the way up because and mostly because my body is like you just had so much water more water than you've had in like the past month combined um because could water go stale yeah like I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, I'm so fucking confused. When something is soft, so like, is she going up to like a couch and saying this couch is stale? No, things that have gone past their prime. So yeah, high. that's it's either stale or rotten. So, when bread is bad, yeah. it is. Gavel. <laughs> when bread goes bad or like you leave chips open, they are stale. Right? Have you never? Do you not use that? Um, like, do you not use the word stale at all? No, I think I, I do. I think it's just it's gone bad or I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I don't know where I stand on this because I don't fucking get the case, Your Honor. So, wait, I'm the honor. <laughs> I guess in this scenario, fuck. Objection. Objection. Okay, <laughs> objection makes sustained. No sense. <laughs> I, I just, I want to get it because, so like, okay, if soft stale things. If I think if you're calling fruit. That's past use stale? No, that's weird. 
if you're calling like bread and shit that gets harder because mm. it's gone past its prime, then that is stale. If you have leftovers in the fridge that are growing mold, I would not call that stale. I would call that moldy. Or throw that out, please. Um, yeah, I don't know if that helps the argument. I just don't understand what the fuck the argument even really was. Is soft stale? Like, I'm. that's going <laughs> to haunt me for the rest of my life. When something is soft, she says it's stale. No, not when something's soft. She calls it stale. No, she that's right. It's... Everything. She calls everything stale that's gone bad, even things that are soft. I don't know. I, I guess I don't Oh, understand. even things that are soft. Should I play it again? I don't want to like play Like, maybe. Like, just until... No. Yeah, no. No. Okay. Um, I don't know. Hey, Chris. My name is Sophia, and I just wanted to call in, and I need this to be settled. So my mom and I have been arguing over this for a Did while now. This, up? this is a different so, one. When no, you're on a red light, I don't know if you drive. Can you pause I, this, this for a sec? Like, I'm sorry. Driver I am, day. like, so but, caught off guard the fact that this is in a case about cocaine. Like, <laughs> I am so... Did you speed this person up? No, I didn't. I didn't the, edit it at all. To the person whose voicemail this is, for, I, don't, I don't know if you said your name because you literally talk so fast. I am... So fascinated by you. Anyway, continue. Or start over. Hey, Chris. Hey. My name is Sophia, and I just wanted to call in, and I need this to be settled. So my mom and I have been arguing over this for a while now. So when you're at a red light, I don't know if you drive. I have, This is, like, not driver's university. But whenever you are at a yellow light, uh-huh. does a yellow light mean you stop? Or do you go through it? My sister told me that if the line or if your tires are over the white line, then you can go through it. But my mom says no, and you stop at a yellow light. I don't even know because all you LA bitches just Uber everywhere. So I don't know. Please help me because yeah. Alrighty, I love you so much and thanks. You might be saving lives with this anyway. So yay. <laughs> Love you. Thank you so much, honey boo boo on go go juice for calling in. Um, yeah, your mom sounds like a boomer unless she watches <laughs> and supports me, which in that case, I would never call her that. Um, but I, yeah, so not to get all education on you. Wow, this is info I actually do remember from driver's ed. You technically are supposed to slow down for a yellow light because a yellow light means it's about to go red. <laughs> In case you didn't know that. Um, but there is a there is something called the point of no return, where if you're going too fast and it would actually be harmful to break because you're going so fast, then I would say go through the yellow light. When there are cameras, the wheels in front, your front wheels being in front of the white line, you are safe. You will not get your thing taken. If it goes red... And then you pass over the white line with your front tires, you're getting a ticket from the camera. That I also learned is if your front wheels are over the line and it's still yellow, you will not get a ticket. And that I think is legal. What? Oh, she just did a funny, weird, convulsing shake. Oh, she's just asleep. Oh, and the vape pen is so close to your nose. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so that's my verdict. And I feel really confident. I always speed up at them if it's like not... Like, when a yellow light isn't stale, period. That is actually (laughs) called a stale light, period, 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 when it's been yellow for a second. And also I learned, oh, my God, so, who knew I had so much knowledge about stoplights? Also, wait, what was this one? (laughs) Fuck, what was it? Stale light. No. Stale light, stale light, star bright. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Stale light, (laughs) fuck. Oh, the amount of time... In a yellow light depends on the speed limit of the road. So, like, if the speed limit is 35 miles per hour, the light will be yellow for 3.5 seconds. If it's, like, 75 miles an hour, I mean, I don't think there'll be a fucking red light. But then it'll stay yellow for 7.5 seconds before changing to red. Whoa, I didn't know that. I know! I don't know if that's a real fact, but, like, I've been telling people... (laughs) I've been telling people it is. Can we look that up? Can someone talk while I... Google, because I can't multitask. A, B, C, D. I, mean, I feel like you should talk and we should How Google. How long Why are you the one do yellow lights last? Here we go. Work. If the posted speed limit is 25 miles or less, 
The minimum yellow interval is three seconds. This includes both right and left turns. If the posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour, the minimum yellow interval is 3.6 seconds. If the posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour, the minimum yellow interval is 4.3. So pretty much the same. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at me actually knowing something. Bow, bow. Also, another fun fact about stuff. <laughs> this is really disturbing. You know those like... <laughs> You know, at like a stoplight in the lane, how they'll have like the two circles or like sometimes rectangle, like tar looking things that look like they cut into the pavement. Yes. Those are the sensors that, and so there's some like right at the front and then there's sometimes some in the back. It's, those are usually in turning lanes. You know what I'm talking about? Like they look like they cut open the pavement and then they patched it yeah, up, yeah, yeah. but there's still like that shape. There's like circles or like the rectangles. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Well, I thought tar? it was something else at first. Not tar, but like it looks like t- what I, I think thought tar. You were talking about this. Sam, what what's tar? <laughs> in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, sometimes there's tar in the beach. Okay, hold on. I have to Google this. <laughs> and it's on the streets. <laughs> so these things, I don't know how to. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck are they? Fuck. These. You know, like when you see like these things. In front of red lights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That isn't what I thought you were talking oh, about. Oh, they yeah. have those, like, right at the front for the first car to signify that, like, there's a car on that. It's, like, weighted. And then they put them, like, further back to show, like, traffic is backed up that far. So, like, the light needs to either change quicker or needs to stay green longer. So, on turning lanes, they usually have them in the back as well because if it's that long, they'll give you the automatic arrow so i always sit on the back ones and i always get the arrow and then you just carry on your merry way who knew i did anyways i don't i that's all like my theory and it's worked literally every time so i think that's how it works but someone's out there is gonna be like it's more technical than that it's not weight it actually is like whatever like i assume it's weight like it can feel a car sitting on top of it so what was your ruling for the... Um... I already gave it. Oh, okay. I was like, this is what I would do. This is what I would do. So they can fit the pieces into their puzzle. Like, I think... Oh, it was go. You, you like, say it depends. You go. It really depends. Yeah. Okay. It's like, if you're... If it just turned yellow, absolutely. If it's been yellow for like a second or two... Floor it. And you're pretty close, yeah, I wouldn't slow down. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. But like, if it's been there for a while, I would slow down. What I, yeah, that's my ruling. Like, okay. I don't know. Cause like there are times, I'm not gonna say every time I see a yellow light, I blow through it. Cause like that's not the truth. So it's, there's nuance to this. So that's my verdict. It's the, it's the yellow lights that you slow down for. That's when the cops pass. Does that ever happen to you? Like, I feel like the ones where I make the <gasps> they're decision. They're always, yeah, they're always at the intersection waiting for their light. And I'm like, oh, thank God I stopped. Exactly. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you make the, the decision to slow down, um, you saved yourself from getting a ticket. Unless that's not your case. Don't, you which... don't even drive. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you carless whore. <laughs> don't even look at me like that. <laughs> is there another one or is that is today's court closed? Hey, Chris. So this could be a juicy one because my dispute is actually with another famous podcast host. Um, so I called into the H3 podcast, right? Okay. And... I have a beef with bro because um, I called in, you know, basically talking about my micro penis, right? Because I have that. So wait, start. Start. There's a lot of. You know. I, there's a lot I need to like really pay attention to. Did he say micro penis? Micro penis. Okay, so can I get like a hint of context before we play this, so I like can go into it maybe knowing. I think that this man has a micro penis, and someone else had given him advice too tell someone before he was going to hook up with them about the micro penis but he doesn't want to i think that was okay now that i have okay okay let's do this okay. let's attack the micro penis hey Chris, so this would be a juicy one because my dispute is actually with another famous podcast uh, host um so i called into the h3 podcast right and I have a beef with bro because um, beef with bro? I called in, you know, basically talking about my micro penis, right? Because I have that. So, <laughs> micro penis, you know, we're talking like, you know, three and a half, you know, pretty small, right? Oh, I was thinking basically an micro inch. penis. So that's 
And I was talking to bro, and he thinks that when I hook up or date people or get into bed with people, I should tell them about it. And I think the opposite. I think it's fine because it's my body. I didn't choose this. And if they're not trying to hook up with me or not trying to be in the bed in that way with me, then that's their problem, you know? And if I can rock it, I can rock it. And plus, most of the time, I'm a bottom. So, like, why does that matter? <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, yeah, I don't like bro anymore because of that. Um, and that was, those are my reasons. That's the dispute. Should I be telling people or not? I, Let me know. Oh, Bye. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, no pressure. Just will be disliked by micropeen. Um, I... What would I do? Um, if I had a micro penis, I would like bring it up. Like I would like, cause then you don't, and the person is like not against. It. I get it's their problem, but it's like still you're naked with a hard on, and they're giving you a hard no. You know, like that to me seems worse than being like so micro penis. <laughs> what do you think? Because when you said you had a micro penis, I was thinking like literally an inch. And then when you said it was like three and a half, I was like, he's a grower, not a shower. I mean, so I think you could be like, and again, not that there's anything to feel unconfident about, but I mean, I feel like in society, it's always like bigger dicks are better. So in that aspect, I just think, why not like feel out the waters, you know? Wow. I've never even thought about this, but I mean, yeah, obviously it's, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's your life. But me, if I had a micro penis and I was going to hook up with people, I would, but you seem confident. See, that's the problem is like it, if you're like ashamed of it or embarrassed about it, I would like feel out the waters. I would be like, so micro penises, you heard about those? And then just like, see what happens. Cause then you're just saving yourself the whole time. And then you can find someone else to hook up with afterwards who is into that. But if you're confident about it, yeah, you don't need to bring it up. That feels like a good ruling. You're saying test the waters? I would say test the waters if you're not confident. That's appropriate. I tested the waters, bitch. I tested <laughs> all 12 of them. You're funny, Justin. Justin's a little funny little guy. Look at you. Ladies, he's taken. That's true. You said that like no. it wasn't anymore, and I was like, no. wait, what? Wow, I almost just shit myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, what would you, yeah. Justin, what would you do if you had a micro penis? <laughs> yeah, like, who's to say I don't um, have one? Uh, uh, actually, uh, what if I, would I tell them or not? Like before we had like hooked up or something? Yeah. Uh, like you're going to dinner with the. I, I, it's a tough one. I think, I guess you'd have to sort of like roll the dice, but be prepared. Also, but if you're at the, I, I think if you're at the point where you're about to have sex with someone and then you, like, I think that, that might be like also like the point of no return. It's like they can't be like, ew. <laughs> I don't That's know, maybe so they, true. Maybe though. I feel, like I feel like there's people out there who'd be like, ew. And if I and, and, and if that was the case, then I would just be like really good with my hands or something. <laughs> so true. Or like you can make up for it in other ways. You're so fucking right with that. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the time people don't even want a big dick. They just want like a. I think there's a threshold. It's like you they want to feel you fulfilled. You want it's like Goldilocks. Like you don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Just right. <laughs> just right. Babe, I don't know baby. what we're talking about anymore, and I think that's for the best. Is there any more? Are we just that's gonna set this episode free? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining yet another episode of this hot mess. I'm sorry, Unhinged with Chris Clemens. Um, you can subscribe to it wherever you listen to podcasts, and make sure to rate and review it five stars and. Just write some nonsense about how great we are and how beautiful I am and how wonderful everybody is. Booker's having some crazy dreams. Aren't you, baby? <laughs> she, when she opens her eyes, she like comes back to this dimension. It's so crazy. Anyways, thanks, guys. Thanks to Jake, Justin, and Sam, as always, for helping out. And we will catch you guys next episode. Anyways, that was kind of fire. You know. We have a new outro. <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me.
Exactly, Booger. Exactly. 